Hello from Gail's Garden Herbs and More. We're going to talk a little bit about fencing. We had to, um, I wanted to take part of my garden and um, the, I had those bind weeds and stuff growing up in there and I thought I can't get rid of these things. So I needed to put in, I'm going to fence it off and I moved the small, what we were keeping the dogs in up here to keep the chickens in for the winter and we tarped it because that's all we really need here. It's our winters are pretty mild and I needed to fence it off I really didn't have much money right now and I didn't want my chickens to get out because I'm gonna have the chickens stay in there through the winter and dig it up and hopefully eat all those weeds and stuff so what we found that was a whole lot cheaper is kind of interesting look at these stakes this is actually the bottom part and you step on it and you put it in the ground now our grounds pretty hard so what we did was took the hose and we um, set it in the area where we needed to put the stake and let it soak pretty good and then you just step on that and push it down into the ground and you've you've got it and then these little areas here you stick this fencing to now this is the fencing and it's a garden fence um, it's actually plastic and in some areas we had to use the um, we got this from an an area where they were discarded. I also got some wood that was discarded for free that I'm going to put along the front of my old olive bins because they're so old it will help them to look better and also reinforce them so they don't fall apart because they're pretty old. So let's go take a look at what we did with that fencing. Okay now along here all there was was three strands of wire and dogs are coming in killing our chickens, chasing our cats, and all I had was pieces of leftover chicken wire that I attached to those three, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to have to reinforce this later too because the neighbors, they don't care, they put their horses on this side, they don't care, the other side's our landlord and they're better with their horses, but the horses have pushed it down quite a bit. But I just put the chicken wire there. It did help keep the dogs out and, and my animals in. And then I had other pieces of wire. And my son was doing cleanup jobs for people and had little sections of some extra wire he brought and found a little extra field fencing we put along there all the way across. It's not real, real pretty, but it works until the neighbors put their horses over there. Um, so then... There's blackberry vines that are dying now. This isn't the prettiest, but this is about fencing anyway. Although that little plant there is looking good. Um, okay, so we did that all the way across. And then here is where we put the white posts that I showed you. And this is the green plastic fencing. And we also zip-tied the end of this onto the fence, keeping it taut so it doesn't put a lot of pressure on this. Because when it does start raining... In January, February, whatever, this area over here tends to fill up with water and get real mushy. But the zip tying holding that will hold this will hopefully hold this in place better. And uh, went across here, and then I just found pieces of stuff. This actually here's the the uh, I can't think uh, rebar, and uh, we stuck that down on the end. Now I just take this wire. And then hook it, and there's a little loop of wire that I set it in at the bottom. And then we use that rebarb there so it would be nice and nice and stout there for that. And then I can go in. Hello, chickens! And I'll show you what else we did. Okay, this, doing what we did really saved a lot of money because we were thinking we are going to have to get other wire and put up above here because the chickens could fly over this since the horses next door pushed it down. But on top of my chicken wire here we just zip tied it and we got some bamboo I don't know if you can see this got a couple of little bags of bamboo and stuck through the chicken wire and through the plastic fencing and it held it up real good and we did use a zip tie occasionally onto it too so then we went all around the fence and um, like we used some little pieces of baling wire around the tree and uh, zip tied it to the bamboo. We've got the bamboo in here holding it up all the way around and then this was it goes the ground goes down right here and the chickens could have flew over this so 
you can see the bamboo pieces, the skinny bamboo that we use, just hooking it on through the green plastic fence into the fencing below, whatever fencing, you know, that we had. Then when we first put them in, they flew over this, but I cut their wings. Um, on one side, you cut their flight feathers. Don't cut both wings or they'll still be able to fly. Um, but we're going to have to put some of that green up on top of here. But I end up going to the hospital, so we didn't get a chance to do that yet. But they haven't got out now that they're they're used to it in here so far. So we'll see what happens. But that's an maybe a couple ideas that would um, help you to figure out how to do your fencing. Um, we moved the little dog kennel over here, took the tarp off the big one that we had them because we, it was too big to move, but we've got them in here. We bought some post. Now this isn't fencing, but it's an idea. Um, and I hope it's not too dark in here. We can still see. And we just got this cheap stuff, and on the bottom we put those hooks so they can't, they can't knock it out. And you would be surprised. It's really hot in here. Um, which is good for the winter. In the summer, we won't be able to keep them in here. I'll have to put them back in the other one. But I'll want a garden anyway, so I'll just have to close this up. Let's see, no eggs. They're molting. That's a fake egg in there to show them where to lay because I have a couple younger ones. But, um, yeah, that's how we did the fencing, and it really, really, really saved us a lot of money. It's still going to cost a little bit, but, boy, did it ever save trying to use what you have and finding cheaper things to use. And hopefully that plastic fencing up above will discourage the horses from trying to reach over and get stuff and tear it down. But anyway, I hope maybe those tips helped you out a little bit. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Um, any comments, questions, ideas, go ahead and share. Uh, thank you all now. Bye-bye.